Hi there, I'm Shane Addy from Autobloggreen.com. We're here at the Hybrid Fest 2007. We're talking to Horatio Calvento. And uh, what would you like to tell us first of all about your uh, special Toyota Prius here? Well, this is a one of a kind. Uh, it's a plug-in electric vehicle. The only one in, in the northeastern region of the United States. Uh, it has been converted by me, not with any regular conventional kit, something designed and put together with the regular and common parts available today in the market. Very impressive, very impressive. Now, where did you uh, get the components to, to do this project? Well, basically after extensive research, uh, I approached different manufacturers, in this case Panasonic Industrial, have donated the batteries that I am using right now for this ongoing research. Uh, any other components, basically, I had purchased them through a lap of three months. Uh, regular components available everywhere. So it's nothing special that you have to, to do. Okay. Now, uh, what, uh, you added, obviously, some batteries, and I, I see a, a plug in the front here. Uh, how did you get that system to work? Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's not an easy question. It's very technical. Uh, but I, my background is electrical engineering, uh, so I have some sort of a studying about this. Uh, and with other friends and internet help, on blogs open all over for everyone, we can come up with uh, some sort of technical instructions on how to put it together. So what I'm doing is not only priority of my head, it's available to everyone in our local uh, association of Long Island Prius owner group. Okay, okay, very good. So now what kind of uh, gas mileage are you usually getting uh, day to day? Uh, day to day, with this type of conversions, I'm getting 88 miles a gallon. Every single day, on record, uh, my best gas tank has been 207 miles. 207? Yes. Very, very impressive. Now, is it because you're mostly running on battery power alone? Uh, well, no. This is interacts uh, the electric motion with the regular combustion engines of the vehicle. So basically, we are not modifying 100, uh, most, uh, no more than 99% uh, the original vehicle. We are squeezing as much as we can and adding a extra in order to get to acquire all this type of mileage uh, every single day. Great. Now, let me ask you this: Would you consider yourself a hypermiler? I yes, it could be, but I would like to say that I'm an eco driver. I would like to help the ecology because that's basically what this is all about. It. So that's your motivation, really, behind this project yes. is to help the environment. Now let me ask you, uh, just sort of uh, off topic, what do you think, which alternative fuel do you think is best? Right now, E85 is the most ready available. Uh, doesn't take too much to transport, it's, it's, it's another liquid. And to produce that really takes only one year of a, a regular crop and after that processing that crop in order to get a, a 85 E85. And do you really think that's, do you think that's going to win out over the other alternatives such as hydrogen and electric? Uh, well, it would be a, a big boom if everybody would start switching to E85 or at least to adopt for at least 20% of all the vehicles. That will be a huge impact to the ecology. Interesting. Now back to the car. Uh, can you tell us uh, roughly the, the uh, expense for the project so far? Well, in my three-month time on doing this conversion, I have invested about four thousand uh, dollars. That's something no, something huge, uh, and really everybody can perform this if they have the, the technical knowledge on how to do it. And we are trying to open it up uh, this information to everyone, so more people can be interested on in performing this type of uh, conversions. And always there is a help available through an email or a telephone call, phone call. And uh, that information would, would be? Will be in our uh, local association, it's www.lipog.org, it's lipog.org, and it means Long Island Prius Owners Group.org. Okay. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Horatio, and uh, I hope you enjoy the fest. Thank you very much Thanks for, for talking to us.